Okay, my people, this is Gilbert from Media360, and we're continuing from the previous video where we we're designing the point of sale receipt for QuickBooks. Okay, now let's go on to the final touches by making this receipt look more presentable and making it good. So, we're going to start by moving around, start from the bottom. Let's fix the bottom first. This sample text is the message that you have on the receipt. The message that comes with the receipt that can say thank you for buying with us, thank you for shopping with us. But let's move this total up here, okay, at the bottom of the receipt. Let me move this total field there, okay. I don't like this font, so I go to properties. I can align it to the center, but let's align it to the right, okay. Let's change the font. We're going to change this font to, we're going to change the size, 14. We're going to make it bold. We're going to click OK. And we're going to click OK. Now change the total down here, it looks better. I'm going to use the arrow key to take it down, just scroll a bit down. Okay, this message, the shopping mess message, I'll put it under the total. I'll make this smaller by dragging it, aligning it to that. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Then I go to properties, okay, I'm going to align it to the center, I'm going to change the font to Myriad Hebrew, okay, I'm going to click OK, click OK here to accept the changes, I'm going to go to the border, uncheck this to remove the border from the message, I'm going to click OK, okay, just come to the center, and the border is not on, okay. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to I'm going to hold shift. Click on this. Click on that. Click on this. By holding shift, you can select multiple items. I'm going to use my up key on the keyboard to move them up. Move them up under this message. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to the top and we clean up the top of this. Scroll up to the top from the side here. Uh, I'm going to move this around and uh, make it look more neat up here so let me move the sales number a bit down using the down key on your arrow using the down key on your keyboard i'll move this further closer i'll move this to the right okay i'll put that there i'll move this cells this is the sales number i'm going to go to properties okay Go to border, uncheck this, remove the border off that box, go to the text, okay, change the font, make it Arial. Arial 9 is okay. Uh, so I'll use my left arrow to drag the box to the left, go to this box as well, go to properties, go to the border, uncheck this. Okay, I'm removing the borders from this words, so I'm going to move this further closer to this, a little bit up. Okay, now I'm going to get the date, bring it down here. Okay, use my arrow keys to move it left and down, move it a bit up. Okay, I'm going to go to properties, border, and check, and check, remove the borders off that. Okay, I bring this date down here. Yeah. Move it further, closer, a bit higher. I'm going to go to properties, change the font to Arial. Arial 9. Okay, click OK. Go to the border, uncheck. I don't want the border to be there. Okay, leave that the way it is. Alright, I'm going to get sold to. Move it down. Use the arrow key to move it around. Make sure it's aligned. Okay. Then I'll go to properties again. I want to remove the border. I'll uncheck this. Click OK. Then I bring this. Bring it down as well. Okay. That's fine. Then the last thing I want to add is a telephone number. 
you can add fields here you can add a text field a data field or an image i'm going to add a text box here you type what you want in the box i'm going to type the telephone number for the company i put here telephone six zero two zero nine nine six then i put another number zero two zero okay take off one here i'll go i change the font make it a uh, myriad hebrew okay that's fine leave it at nine i'm going to come border make sure there's no border okay and i place i place the text in there drag the text to the top make this box bigger okay the font is too small so i'll have to change the font to go to properties go to font change it to 10 let's make it 11 okay i click ok to accept the changes okay that's the telephone number for the company i've added that here then i get this receipt move this down okay it's looking much better now then i go for the final changes i go to the bottom click on payment method properties i want to remove the borders uncheck them okay here go to properties change the font to area okay click ok up here then i go to the border and check i don't want any of these borders okay then I go down to the same, go to properties, order, and check it. You can edit the text from up here as well, up here. So change that. I go here again, properties, find the font, area, area, okay, I leave it at 9, accept, border, and check the border. Okay, save, then I click OK. Let's preview here and see how our, see how our receipt looks. Okay, it's looking nice. Um, I like it. And now uh, all I need to do is take this border off this total point, or make this total border longer. And just stop there. So I click close, go back to layout designer, get this total box, make it bigger. Okay, and I click OK, preview. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I want to thank all of you for watching this video. Um, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to our channel. And thanks for all the help. Thanks for everything. Feel free to comment, rate, subscribe. That's how you create a small receipt for point of sale using QuickBooks.